Well, good morning and welcome back here on Hof Bergman. It's an early start for me, Hans the caretaker here on the farm. I have just been finishing up um, a batch of breads. I realized up here we have a little timer for the oven. Um, so as you can see, we have a while to go on uh, the last batch of breads. Uh, but that should hopefully be ready uh, by the time the shop is opening. Um, I have some other ones we already created here. Um, so I'm going to leave the oven on here. We've got a lot to be getting on with today. But first of all, I need to head up and uh, check on the animals. I think I will use the gator. Uh, we have feed up at the uh, goats, but... Um, I just want to make sure that they're okay. Since we got bales up there, I can just shred a bit off and uh, give them that. So uh, we'll head up and see how they're doing. So we're almost at the end of the month here in early spring. Um, I need to get the last field cultivated and, well, I, I think seeding I need to double check with um, with both, well, mainly the young man since he's now taking over on uh, this kind of thing, but um, we definitely want to get a field of rye in, but I want to check what else we should be trying to do. Well, they look happy. They look like they're up and about. But I'll just make sure that the feed is, is, is topped up. It, it shouldn't take long. I'll just shred a bit of the bales that we've already got. Well, they haven't been taking much. I, I guess they're getting nibbling on the grass out in, in the field. But overall, they look quite happy. It does use like they, uh, it does look like they use the bedding a little bit. So uh, I guess they're getting settled in. But I need to get back and I actually need to get on most of all with the cultivating. That has been the one job that's been annoying me that I haven't been able to complete but it looks like I will get it finished uh, here right at the end of the month. But we're getting on with things. There are plenty of other things that I need to have a look at today. Um, I need to check up on our vent tractor with the dodgy sensor. I think they should have the parts in today, hopefully. Um, I also need to talk to the animal dealer about what the options are for getting some birds in. Primarily chickens, I think, but um, I think he sells ducks as well. And uh, I'll probably phone through to the young couple when, um, when they do. So, if you're not familiar with the farm and, and what's going on here, um, I'm the caretaker of the farm. We were meant to have a young couple come to look after the farm for the next couple of years together with me. Um, while Dr. Bergman, uh, who owns the farm, he's a, a, a medical doctor and uh, he, he doesn't have time for farming, but he does want the farm to start producing and uh, give a surplus so we uh, we need to be trying to get on with it the money we have in the farm is is the young couple and the doctor having put some money in to try and make it work i will be getting on with this job and uh, it should hopefully not take all day although it's not a small field
I don't actually have too much left to do but it is coming up towards 8 o'clock and I really do need to just get down to the farm and, and oh I need to check out those breads but oh there's so little left to do here I wonder if I can yeah I'm 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 gonna try and finish this off uh, Lydia might be a little bit cross with me uh, because I'll be a little bit late with the breads but this really shouldn't take too long at all So here we are, the very last little bit. I think it was the right thing to do. Get this finished off at least. So one more thing is crossed off our list for today. Excellent. So that's not bad. 20 past eight in the morning and we've actually finished the cultivating job already. Um, I guess the Repair shop and dealership might be getting in touch soon. Uh, so we'll find out what's happening with the spare parts. I got to go over to the uh, carpenter's yard um, and I got to ask them about the wood chipper as well today because um, the dealership didn't really have any sort of on their books, uh, so to speak. They could bring something in, but it would have to be delivered by truck and it would end up getting really quite expensive. And they mentioned that the carpenter's yard had one. Um, so it may be that we can rent or borrow it from them. Uh, I hope it's not going to be too expensive, but um, although we live fairly close, uh, I, I don't know them that well. So I'll have to go over and almost introduce myself and see how we're getting on. But and I'll also need to get this washed down. But um, first, I just gotta head in here and check on those breads. But given where I've been, I better just wash my hands first. I'm just gonna get them loaded up so I can get them delivered into the store. Uh, I might be making some more later on, but um, this this is now just part of the routine. It will be limited how many uh, Lydia and I can make between us uh, because obviously there's only the two of us right now and uh, there are lots of other jobs that need to get done as well. Right, I'm going to save one loaf over here for uh, lunch. But these two are ready uh, for Lydia to pick up in the store. Oh dear, I left the lights on. Well, it's no harm. I need to get this over and get it washed. Right, here we go. Uh, it's, it's a little bit hard to get in between all the discs here, but I think I got everything now. There might still be a little clump of soil, but by and large, I think I've got everything. So I can get that folded up again, and um, we'll just put it in the shed right next door here, uh, next to the plow, so that it's out of the way, but easy to get to. I'll need to bring the sewing machine over to get that ready as well. So we have the seed over in the other yard, so I'll take you over there. To we saw a little bit of it on, on a short tour, but um, we'll head over and uh, pick up the cedar just, just to put it in the workshop so I can get all the connections checked. It's just a little bit narrow. So I'll bring it over to the workshop. Um, I'll need to look out. We, we still have one, maybe two bags of seed um, sitting around. We do have a seed maker. But obviously we have no grain on the farm right now to make the seeds from. So um, I'll use what we got and then if we need more, which we probably will, we'll need to buy it in. That will obviously be another expense. So far we have been spending money rather than 
uh, making money and obviously with this being sort of the end of the early spring month um, I also have to be paid uh, I'm I'm on a salary I'm not an investor in the farm myself obviously I, I need an income I need to pay the rent for my house and food and such like so um, I get paid um, 2,000 euros a month Lydia's salary is covered by the balancing in the shop so when we see that on the accounts that will all have been deducted already um, I'll have to yeah, that's another thing I need to do I need to do the kind of end of month um, spreadsheet that I can send out to to the doctor and and now also to the young couple so they have full sight on what's going on with the um, with the finances of the farm obviously it's not an old cedar it's still in very good nick um, normally I would hook it up to the newer Fent because it does actually have an interface so I can um, so I can use a GPS um, to run uh, the seeding lines on this uh, although it's not a super wide um, seeder uh, I could go over to the carpenter's yard now and ask them uh, about the wood chipper I'll just uh, hop in to the van first here then we'll get looking at the fertilizer afterwards. Right, now let us see. I don't really know whether, ah, there he is. Looks like he's standing outside. Maybe he's having his morning coffee. I better go and speak to him. Um, hello, Johan. Um, I'm Hans from over on Hofbergman. I spoke to people down at the dealership and they mentioned that you might have a wood chipper uh, that we would be able to use. I don't know if you know, but um, the forest area up here um, is, is part of Hofbergman and uh, it's it's just come out from a hunting lease and we, we want to start doing some, some chipping for, for firewood. Ah, very good. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Hans. Yes, we we do have a wood chipper. We we mainly use it for the scrap parts that we cut from logs. But um, I think, given given how close the forest is and everything like that, I don't see a problem in in you using it for a bit. Um, I don't know. Uh, what what, uh, what price did you have in mind? I don't think it would be too. Well, I, I I have to say I don't really know how much a, a wood chipper would would be to rent normally now I have a proposal for you how about we could use a few spare logs I'm I'm doing a private job right now to build some custom staircases and um, I, I could use a couple of nice straight logs so how about if you can um, if you can cut me say three uh, nice grown trees and hold them down here I will um, let you use the wood chipper for a couple of days. Oh, well, I think that sounds... I, I would need to check with the boss, but to be honest, that sounds like a very good deal. Uh, I, I would like that very much. Can I get back to you a little bit later today? Yeah, no problem, Hans. See you later. Sorry, you had... I, I realized that I completely forgot to ask, could, could I take a look at the chip? I don't really know what size it is, and I, I need to let the boss know. Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Right, okay. So, Johan pointed over here and he says that... Where? Well, oh, okay. That's quite a big machine by the looks of things. This would do very, very well. It's And it's got its own large engine on board, so we wouldn't need to worry about having a, a tractor that has a certain power rating to, to pull this thing, I think. Um, that's that's brilliant right uh, I'll go and thank Johan and um, then I'll get back um, I need to have a call with the young man and the uh, thank you Johan that that looks very good right so we're heading back to the farm um, this is the problem sort of with just being the caretaker uh, and not the decision maker here on the farm right now is that 
I need to check before we make sort of significant investment. I mean, they, they obviously trust me if I need to buy an oil filter or get the tractor repaired and such like, but um, for, for larger things, the things where we're actually taking taking something out of the farm, like taking trees out of the forest, I, I reckon I need to run by them. Um, but personally, I would have jumped at that deal. I, I think it's, it's, it's a very good one. But I'm going to head in. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of them. I'm also going to see if I can get a hold of the, um, the animal dealer, the dealership. Oh, so many phone calls to make. Right. Uh, into the house. Now, also, oh, I need to get... The, oh, I don't really like doing the spreadsheets, but I I'll do that later. First, oh, I'll get on the phone. Okay, phone calls have been made. So, they are happy with the deal. Um for some trees, three large trees to go down to the carpenter's yard in exchange for being able to use the wood chipper. So that's one job I need to be getting on with. I, I need to look out the three trees first and, and make sure Johan at the, at the carpenter's yard is, is happy with them. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to get them dragged down. I'll have to figure that bit out. but. I need to look out the chainsaw first. Uh, I think it's over in the workshop. Oh yeah, but while I'm looking for that, um, in other news, um, I've agreed a, a seeding plan with, with the young man. Uh, we are going to be uh, putting rye on one of the larger fields. We're going to be putting uh, barley onto uh, one of the fields, some spring barley and some spring wheat. And then the last one, where we don't want to have to contend with too much straw, we're going to be, um, this one over here, we'll put uh, canola on. Uh, he seemed quite relaxed about the idea that we won't get started till kind of mid-spring on, on the seeding. Uh, we are a bit limited by, by the size of our seeder here. And uh, I've been instructed just to buy in whatever seed is needed. So that's good. Right, the chainsaw was not in there. Now, I think it might actually be up in the attic, uh, up here. We, we have a bit of storage, sort of, up the back of here. There's, there's a set of steps. Uh, here we go. There's all sorts of old junk up here. Ah, oh, yes, here it was. Oh, stuck in behind Thingleton. Let me see if it'll start. Ah, it seems to be running, seems to be running quite well in fact, so that's good, that's one less concern. I'll, I'll bring it down and um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll probably put it in the gator, uh, we, could, we could just take the gator up to the forest later on. The other part was, I, I need to go and get those chickens, uh, so I need our livestock trailer again, they are boxed up, but we can bring them uh, in the trailer. So, I'm just going to get the trailer again. Um, it didn't get too dirty from, from the goats. They, they were very well behaved on the trip, so this shouldn't be a problem. I also spoke to the dealership um, about the uh, vent. They're still waiting for the sensor part to come in, but it's, it's an easy fix. So, the total bill is going to be 300 euros for uh, the new sensor and the uh, labor and everything so that's a fixed price we've been given now so that's that's actually not too bad but um, I won't be getting it today I'll they reckon the part should come in this afternoon and it's 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 a quick job to um, to fit it once it's in they've got everything apart so I won't be able to pick it up today but um, I should be able to get it tomorrow and then we can get the uh, cedar hooked up to it uh, which will be good. It'll give a little bit more control. Um, that's where some of the more modern tractors do come in very handy. It enables me to control the seeding rate and everything like that from directly inside the cab for a lot of things. So second day in a row we're going to see Albrecht but um, obviously he's happy he's making money and uh, we're starting to get some uh, 
life back on this farm, so it's all good. Ah, there he is, he must be waiting for me. I did say I was going to be right down. Whew, that was quite a job, as you can see. We're rather full up in here. We have chickens, we have ducks, we have a couple of roosters in here as well and uh, they've all been stacked into boxes here so that they fit in. Thank you Albrecht, I'll see you later. And um, it wasn't too expensive at all in fact. Um, he runs a very good deal on poultry and uh, I basically got free limits to spend up to 2,000 euros but um, there's about a hundred animals in here and um, I've still only spent uh, about a thousand but I think that should be plenty uh, once they settle in we should start uh, getting some eggs that we can sell in the shop uh, it will all help balance out the shop a lot better we, we don't have to buy in things from from elsewhere um, because that's really not bringing in any money that's at, at best uh, covering uh, Lydia's salary and, and uh, well to be honest when when we just buy things in we don't get that many customers and we get people who actually just leave and go to our, either the village shop here or, or a, a supermarket further away so we want to make sure we have that local produce that people are coming and looking for and we want to make sure we don't end up losing our customers Right, I want to make sure I can get them straight into the building. I mean, they will be kind of free to roam, but I just want to be able to make sure they can find boxes and straw, and, and we've got a feeding trough here now. The feeding trough is quite nice because I can just put a sack up here with, with feed, and uh, we can pull through what what's needed, and uh, we've got the watering trough outside here. But anyway, uh, I've got quite a lot of boxes to shift to get these animals out oh finally ah that was that was quite a lot of work and as you can see ungrateful birds as they are uh they've just started walking around straight away uh they seem to be very happily at home here but as you can see well uh, where are you going i uh, gotta be careful as i pull out of here i don't run any of our new animals over but yes so we got a mixture we got some uh egg producing chickens hopefully um and some ducks oh oh they're making it out into the yard this this is going to be interesting um we haven't really had chickens around here well eh, well i've been doing most of the work so but um i guess i better give them some water to begin with there we go and then once i get this out i actually have a sack sitting over here uh with um chicken feed so that should be okay. Keep the attachments for the um, for the front loader around here. I think, if I remember rightly, the bag lifter is actually up on the shelf itself. Yeah, I can put the bale spike uh, down here for now, and then we can get the bag lifter up there. Oh, I think I have a window here where I can get in without hitting any animals. Come on, duck. Don't, don't, don't keep going. Uh, don't keep going that way. No. Uh, right. Let's see if I can get around the duck who seems to be very determined to be standing right there. Get in here and get a hold this seed bag now. Right. So if I just put that seed bag up on here. We can just empty out as and when we need. I'll let a bit in now, obviously. So obviously with, with the seeding plan of putting down wheat and barley and such like, um, we will be able to use some of our own grain later on in the year after harvest. Uh, but for now, we obviously, we will need to buy in things. That is if I actually ever get back out of here. These chickens seem to be making themselves right at home.
So while I'm in the front loader here, I might as well try and get this bag of seed down and bring it over to um, to our cedar so that once it's hooked up, uh, it'll be easy to get it filled. We got two bags of seed sitting up here. Not too bad. I'll bring the trailer back up. Uh, we shouldn't be needing it. All the boxes needs to be stored away. And then we can head up to the forest and have a look at um, picking out three large trees for Johan. And then we'll get access to the wood chipper. There we go. So heading up to the forest, I guess we might need to cut down quite a few trees actually. Uh, we don't want to cut them down and bring them over to the chipper one by one since we don't have it permanently. It's 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 going to be a borrow loan. We, he did mention we could have it for a couple of days, but at the same time, you know, we won't, don't want to leave it up there for a week or anything like that. I reckon we should try and get a um, hydraulic grab for the vent here. That will help us lift pieces of wood onto the chipper. And then obviously we will we'll need another tractor, probably the smaller vent here, um, to pull a trailer to bring the wood chips. So what we're going to do with the wood chips is we have this packer here. It's it's a very simple looking piece of machinery, but um, it allows us to bag it up. And that means we'll be able to store it and, and subsequently um, sell it either to families around town. And obviously we need some for our own bakery as well. Um, so there's quite a lot of work involved in getting this done, but I reckon it we will worth it. And we have space in here that we can store pretty much as many sex I don't think we're gonna get the whole space in here filled up necessarily um, but I'm gonna grab the chainsaw and the gator and we're gonna head up and, and look out the first three trees and I guess later on this afternoon after we've been up to the forest I, I can't get around it anymore I will need to do the, um, the finances and the accounting and, and that kind of stuff but uh, I'm not terribly good with spreadsheets, so it might take me a while to get all of that done, but um, yeah, I guess it needs to be done. Uh, Dr. Bergman wasn't particularly concerned about things like that, uh, as long as there seemed to be a little bit of money for him to, to, to take out from the farm or to spend, then it didn't really matter too much, but uh, I get the impression that the young man and, and, and Helen would like a little bit more uh, overview of how the money are being spent. Um, I need to pay out my own salary, obviously, 2000 and um, that will take the money down a little bit more. It feels like we've, we've just been spending money rather than doing anything else, so I reckon Let's see if I park here and have a look. Yeah, these ones are not bad right here, actually. It would be easy to grab our... Uh, I better move the gator if I'm going to try and cut them, but let's see. Um, Size-wise... Oh, this one's good as well. Now, that is very good. There we are. Get my chainsaw. And then we will go, I think we'll try and cut this one first since I reckon if I can cut it to fall out this way, that should be pretty good. I'm pretty sure Johan won't mind it falling out onto the grass field a little bit since it's his tree anyway. Yes, that actually worked out. That worked out perfectly. Excellent. And that will create a little bit more space for the next one here as well. Um, once I get the branches off this one. It's a little bit hard to tell, but I got most of the branches cut off and dragged away. But there's obviously a couple of bushes here in the way. So let's see. It was this one over here as well. I'll need to try and make that fall sort of roughly this way. Ah, oh, okay. That went a little bit more sideways than I had thought it would, but okay. 
I'm not a professional logger here, but uh, I'm doing okay, I reckon. Well, once I talk to the uh, dealership, I guess I could ask them if they have winches as well. But we have the first logs down, and uh, these three logs will get us access to the chipper for a couple of days. So that will be pretty good. I reckon what I will do is we'll kind of be coming up. I might have to try and pull some of these bushes out. Um, or trim them down because they are getting a little bit in the way here. Ah, oh, right. There we go. I've cleared out some bushes. That took quite a bit longer than I had planned. They were pretty tough to get yanked out. And, well, there's, there's a limit to how much I could cut with the chains. I could get some of it, but I've dragged the rest up into to the forest. But it has helped quite a bit in our ability to get in and out of, of here. So... We can get to the logs and um, I, I reckon I can now, there's a kind of clear area where we can pull the chip up pretty close and I can kind of cut a wedge into the forest here that we can get chipped up to begin with and then obviously if we decide to do more at a later stage that's fine. But anyway, it is well into the afternoon now and I haven't had any lunch so um, I'm going to put the chainsaw back here in the back of the gator and then I better head down to the farm and yeah I, I really can't put it off anymore I, I do need to go on the computer and get that accounting stuff done um, so everybody can see how money has been going in and out um, off the farm I'll close up this gate we won't need that till we are heading back up to, to check on the goats again tomorrow um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Lydia has uh, picked up the bread for the shop, but oh, oh, I'm so glad she's she's left one for me. So I can take this one into the kitchen to make myself some lunch, uh, and then I can get on with the uh, accounting side of things. Oh, finally. I, th I think I've finished the the finances. Anyway, um, yes, I, I suppose you might be interested in seeing what what what's what. So I've 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 put up all of the records of of things, my own salary, and obviously we have been purchasing animals uh, for for quite a bit of money um, this period. But actually, the the shop has been doing very well, and and the new breads have been particularly popular. So even when taking account of Lydia's salary, um, there's there's a gain there of, of over three thousand euros. Um, we have some regular bills, of course, heating, electricity, land taxes, such like. So overall, yes, we we have lost money this month, uh, about five and a half thousand euros, but. Overall, I, I think we have actually we have we have recovered quite a bit. That's that's considering we spent over six thousand euros on on animals. We've already managed to to bring in a bit. Obviously, in the coming months there are going to be expenses for seed and 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 fertilizer and such like. Uh, but hopefully, we can keep the breads going. And uh, once the chickens settle in, uh, we'll start seeing some more. Um, potential income there but it's now almost half past five I started very early this morning uh, Lydia's got a little bit to go uh, before she uh, is, is gonna wrap up for today so I guess I might just help her by going over and uh, getting a mix on so that the breads can rise uh, overnight here in, in, in the rather cool room and then they can get baked and be ready for the shop in the morning so since we still have some supplies I don't know how long we'll be able to keep going but that is it for uh, this this month here on Hof Bergman uh, we will get started hopefully I'll be able to get that uh, new event collected and we can um, we can get the seed on the go, but at least we, we got the cultivating done. We've started clearing a bit of a path up in the forest, and uh, we have lots of new animals. 
on the farm in this episode. But that is it for this episode with the caretaker of Hope Bergman. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, once again, here from Overcourt Gaming, see you again soon.